Hi guys, welcome back to Warframe. We're here doing the deadlock protocol. And this is part 5. We're going to do Parvos Granum. So this is where we uh, confront Parvos Granum and uh, the Protea Warframe. First thing we need to do is intercept the treasurer. The tributes are jammed open and the old man's errant specters have control of my ship. They're spreading through the fleet. I have no choice. If I can't have my fleet, no one can. So we have the Zorus uh, equipped. We'll need to defeat Pradia. This was not the deal, Anya. We have yet to rescue our people. Disengage to destruct. I can't do it. But don't worry. I'm already in a very comfortable, safe distance. Yugi, the fleet's going to blow. And well done. Aboard. Wait, it's a time prison, right? Sparky, if you can get back inside before the reactor tilts, you theoretically have all the time in the world. Unlock the door. You can see my Zorus is only level 2, so I haven't really tried to rank it in any, any way. I don't think you need to for this quest. Um, defeating uh, Proti is more about knowing the mechanic, which I'll describe as we go through it. So we've nearly reached the treasurer. So I'll have to defeat him and uh, take the coin, the Granum crown. Here he is. Let's beat him down and take his coin. This random crown. Just trying to get my shields to recharge a bit. There we go. Okay, so we have to slot the coin over here. Random crown. And in we go into random void space. I don't think they made it. Outwelder? Udi, they're alive! Listen, Neff's whole fleet is overloading. Huge energy spike. We need to take out Protea. Ready that, Zorus. Alright, so there are a few mechanics that you need to be aware of for this, uh, this end mission here. And I'll talk through them. So here's your uh, your people that have been captured here. So you need to release your people first. So we have to equip the Zorus weapon uh, by pressing F, changing the weapon. We'll just 
to cycle through them. There we go. Our red jockeys. They're trapped in some kind of energy enclosure. You'll need to charge the Zorus to break it open. Risk comes from not knowing what you are doing. There's no stopping this without stopping Protea. A bit like eating your own, no? Here they come. Take out the errands, then use the Zorus to trap the Spectre particles that escape. You'll have to time it just right. Okay, so we hold down the E key and then release it. Which uh, shoots the Zorus out to attack the enemies. And then while it's in flight you can press the heavy attack key, which is the middle mouse button for me. There you go. You see it gets fully charged. Those three little orange dots show that your Zorus is fully charged. And that's the state it needs to be in for uh, breaking the shield around your people. So if I hold E and release it, and then uh, when it flies through your person, you can hit the heavy attack button. There you go. And it explodes, releasing your person. So you have to release all of the Solaris people in here. There's three of them. So now we need to charge the Zorus up again. So hold and release E to let it fly. Press the middle mouse button to make it explode. Capture the fully charge. By now your friends have noticed that the overloading void engines are preventing the exits you opened for my captives from closing. Well done, and goodbye. Enjoy your stay. Okay, so now we have to defeat Protea. So this is very much the same. So we need to charge the Zorus first. And then we beat down the Protea. So once the Protea's health is zero, you can see she becomes vulnerable to attack. And then we, uh, yeah, we release the Zorus. And uh, hit heavy attack to make it explode and it takes out the Protea. So you see at the top Protea's got four lives. So I need to charge up the Zorus again. You see there the orange dots appear. Now it's fully charged. Now we have to beat down the Protea down to zero. The health. Too early. See, my Zorus is not charged now. Okay, so I beat it down, but the Zorus wasn't charged. Interrupt her uh, time reversal at the moment without charging the Zorus properly. So I'm gonna have to charge this up again. Okay, let's get some charge going. Hold E and release it. And then hit the heavy attack. Makes it explode and capture the charge. Fully charged now. 
Now we go and beat down Pradia down to zero. Not too difficult with a good weapon. Okay, she's vulnerable now. There we go, fire and release. And she's dead. So that's two of her four lives. Zorus has been charged. I've got to beat her down again. There we go. She's vulnerable. Okay, one more time. Let's charge up the Zorus. That's it. The cycle's degrading. A bit tricky sometimes. Release and explode. There we are. Fully charged. Now that we're fully charged, we can beat down the Protea. Ah, I just released it. charged again now. Let's put her down. And she's vulnerable and we can release Zorus. No, nope, try again. There we go. And she's dead for the fourth time. And we're done. They're coming home. Tonight, all Fortuna will be singing a verse in your honor. Alright, so yeah, a few tricky mechanics in there, but once you get the hang of uh, how to do that, it's not too hard. Now, if you want to see what loadout I was using to defeat Protea, you can go back to part one of this series and see my mods and my loadout. Solaris, we are reunited. Parents to children, family to family. Take this time to hold one another, for tomorrow our struggle continues. We will persevere. Know that our emancipation is writ in the stars, with Solaris and Tello united. Okay, a deadlock protocol is complete. So I hope you enjoyed this series guys. Click like if you enjoyed the video and uh, subscribe if you want to see more story missions in this series. And uh, we'll see you next time.